Welcome back to another episode of Farm Simulator 19. Today we're going to be talking about cutting grass, making silage and hay. Right now we're making silage. We're starting the process of silage. I'm using this Corona mower, which I'll show you right now in my shop. Right there, I didn't want to pay the $380,000 for it for this video. I don't make that much silage. I'll just lease it and get rid of it. Lease it, get rid of it, whatever, keep it around. Just don't use it that much. Got 9.9 .9 meter cut width, which is the largest mower you can buy in the game at the time. It does 15 mile an hour in a field and 24 mile an hour on the street. The only downside is it does take 30 of your slot. You can look in the top left corner. You do have different work modes. This is swath dropping, which you currently are seeing. You have a swath to the left, a swath to the right, and a wide spreading which is what you're going to be used to seeing on more of the flail mower type stuff like this. Anyway, I'm going to continue this pass here. As you can see, as you mow, it puts it into a nice little row, which saves you a step. When you're doing silage, you can do this in two passes now. If you're just going to do the silage, if you're going to do the bells, you know it's going to take you four instead of five. It's going to save you a step. Now at this point in the, now at this point in the video, you might be asking yourself, hey Josh, you said you were going to talk about doing hay too. I am right here. But as you can see, the Corona can also hook up to a Tedler. You're going to turn your Tedler on. You're going to lower it into the ground. You can switch over to your thing here. You can turn your thing on. Turn your mower on. You're going to haul butt. 15 mile an hour, you're going to do this all, or actually 11 mile an hour as the Tedler slows you down. You're going to do this all in one pass. You're going to cut and Tedler at the same time, which is going to save you one pass over your field. So if you're going to do a bells, that's going to save you a pass that way. You're going to even do like what I do. But in the pickup wagon, it's still going to save me a step. Time is money. Money is time. Let me go ahead and finish this field out. I'm going to haul some silage over to my bunker that is empty at the moment. I think Actually, it's not empty. I think it's got a little bit into it. Let me uh, finish cutting all this up, get some silage in my bunker, and i got another little tip to show you. But one cool little tip. If you do hay and grass next to each other, see right here, this is hay. Obviously, you can tell by the color. You can actually scoop this up and turn it into grass, which is what I'm going to do because I'm out of hay storage in my barn, my silo, whatever you want to call it. It also works for the tedler. If you're tedling, you don't have to get all the grass. It'll turn it in once you pick it up or whatever. It'll turn it into the right product. So a little short tip there on that too. Okay, so another tip I got for a medium bunker, you just pull... Right down the middle, after you get your two back ones going, you have to go to one on the left, one on the right, and then the rest of them you just pull down there. You can get a pretty good level mound going by going back and forth. I applied the same trick I showed you last time, where you pick up the grass first, and you can pick up the hay to make the hay to grass. Same thing, I just made one strip of hay, now we're grass. So I gotta go dump this over here at the cow pins. Alright, so you'll never see me doing silage. This is the only time I do silage. And the reason why I'm doing silage now is because the cows, because I'm going after a trophy. If you want to do silage for money, that's fine. I don't think it's the best idea to do silage for money, and here's why. It takes way too much time. You have to cut the grass, put it in windrows, unless you have the crone. And then, even then, you have to get a, uh, pick a loading trailer like this, where you got to put it in bells, wrap it, and go and sell it. Even with the new mods and the download pack and everything, it still takes forever. Or put it in a bunker, let it go, and you can haul one trailer for full price through the bio gas plant. And other than that, you can take it to the barn as much as you want, but still, you're handling stuff way entirely too much. And the time involved is a crazy. And a lot of the operation can't be done by um, the computer, it has to be done by you. So, okay, my next little tip here I want to show y'all as we're wrapping this video up for silage is this little thing here and it is called the DSC 180 as you can see in the top left hand side of the screen so I'm just gonna I'm not gonna use it right now I'm just gonna go back up and I see that's 10 11 so you see how much that takes if you go ahead and turn this thing on and lower it
But by now you can see how much better job it does and more efficiently. That was real time, not sped up or anything. I'm not really sure. I haven't done the testing on it. This is a new mod that was in the store. It's free. I haven't done any testing on it to actually see what the time comparison difference is on these smaller piles. It's about the biggest I do. is about 200 to 300,000. I never fill these bunkers pump full because I don't use it. Need it. Matter of fact, what I do a lot of times is I cycle these fields. I cycle the fields, the 24, 25, 26, 19, and 23 back and forth between grass and a crop. Please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you like. Until next time, happy trails.